Well, today is National Readathon Day. Author of The Last Time and The Last Summer, Jacqueline Eubanks, will be celebrating at an event in New Baltimore. And did I mention? She's only 17 years old, a senior in high school. Um, absolutely incredible. I've been reading a lot about you. And most people, you know, if they aspire to do something, maybe write one book in a lifetime. You've written two when you're 17. How did you get started? I've always really had a love of reading and writing, of course. So that's, I got started when my grandma who's probably my biggest influence, pushed me to write when I was young and I was first starting out. And I've been writing ever since I was able to. Now the books are about a, a young girl who wants to play baseball, who aspires to play baseball for the Yankees someday. I love the topic. She's been through some pretty rough stuff. She's been bullied and made fun of. And, and you said you drew um, from experience on that, right? When I was younger, particularly in middle school, in my first two years of high school, I went through a lot of rough stuff socially, and uh, writing was my outlet for it. It was the way that I could escape from the everyday, and it helped me deal with things that I had to in my everyday life. We've had a, a couple of our news anchors and, and personalities here write books, and I, my one question to them is, how do you sit down and, and get the ideas to flow? Is it organic or is it something you outline? Um, I just think it would be incredible dif incredibly difficult to just keep going, cranking out page after page. It, I definitely start out with an outline. I have the general idea of what I'd like the story to be about, and then I write it down so that I know where I'm going, and then I just sit down and I force myself to write even if I don't want to, mm -hmm. and eventually I'll get going and then it'll just the ideas will keep flowing. Amazing. Where do you write? Do you um, like to write at home? Do you have a special uh, room? Do you go to the coffee shop? Mostly I write in my bedroom, typically very late at night or the early hours of the morning. Yeah. What do you do for fun besides write? Do you have time to do anything else? I play softball. I've uh -huh. been playing for about 10 years. I also love acting and singing. Awesome. You are multi-talented. And look at these awards. Tell us about the uh, medals there on the books. Well, the first award I ever won was for my first book, The Last Summer, which was a finalist in the USA Book News Awards wow. for 2012. And then my second book has been a little more successful in the award category. I won finalist in the National Indie Excellence Awards, as well as a Reader's Favorite Bronze Award, which I went to the ceremony in Miami in Ooh. November. And that one's called The Last Time, A Last Summer Novel. So tell us about the event you're going to be at, the Readathon events. Well, today I'll be at Echo Family Bookstore in New Baltimore from noon until 4, doing a book signing, reading my book, and answering questions anybody has about what it's like to be an author, what, where you can get your start. All right, Jacqueline, you are doing amazing things. We're proud that you're a local girl, and uh, hopefully we'll see some more books from you in the future. Thank you. Have fun today. We'll put that information on our website, myfoxdetroit.com.